Alright people, welcome back. More Vitamin Y. So we have Stunzi here. Hello. So we're using Ubel Arch Fiends. I, I tweaked the deck, I twerked the deck just a little bit. Twerking it up. Twerking it, yeah. Yep, Miley Cyrus style. Twerk it real good. Mm, 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 mm. Um, I put back in Commander because um, <laughs> he's actually pretty decent. I lowered uh, Calvary down to two because he gets cloggy because I sometimes I, I, I don't have a... Uh, Oh, look, I already picked scissors, dude. So, <laughs> like, I don't care if you're like, oh, I picked paper. Like, no, I already picked he, scissors. I always he pick clearly scissors. really, really wanted you to go first. I guess so. Or wanted to lose rock paper scissors for some reason. Ten. Uh, that's all I gotta say about this hand is there. Let me guess, you got some of your bells in your hand, haven't you? Of course, I got you on my hand. Yeah. Which I one? Do. Terror. Which one? All right. I mean, it could be worse. It could be first one. Well. I mean, this deck I do run triple dark griffer and triple rota, so hopefully I'll go ahead and get that. No, nope, because you run them at three, you won't get them. If you run them at one. All right, so you're gonna draw. So you're gonna draw in a sixty card deck. Performer pulls with no extra. That's weird. I guess he's like fuck the extra. Okay, I mean, oh, I he's all, he, I guess he's all about that pendulum life. <laughs> Even he's, Yuya has cards in the extra. He <laughs> he just he just straight up said, yo, fuck the extra deck. It's all about them pendulum zones, son. I don't need an extra deck. My pendulum monsters will go to the extra deck, and therefore I'll have more than 15 eventually, and I'll have an extra deck. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking about. I don't know what I want to do. What? What have you got? I just drew Dark Graffer, and I have Emperor, and I have Terran. I'm thinking about just summoning Dark Graffer and pitching and sending you Bell, because I have Limit Reverse in my hand. Yeah. Or something along those lines. I mean, he's playing Performer Pulse with no extra, so if you drop a Terror on him, he's probably not getting over that. Uh, I just want him to overextend a little bit more because I'm masking on, so I can go masking on some Harris and make a black rose. But I want to push more out of him first. Yeah, right now I just don't really think it's worth it. So I, yeah, I want him to overextend a little bit more before I go ahead and black rose him. So we'll go ahead and pitch terror, and I guess I'll go ahead and just send you Bell. Mm -hmm. What if he drops an effect veil on you again? Yeah, that caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, it's like who plays that card anymore? No, that's it. It's not really worth send me sending my limit reverse yet. I want you to. I want. I want to see more out of you. Extend more. Push more. Play more. Then I'll black with you. Something right. another wolf. All right. Damn. So when he declares an attack, they go up by six hundred. That sucks. <laughs> They're both twenty six beaters. Ouch. I take nine hundred. Yeah. Twenty six. <laughs> You would think that in a deck of 60, he has run, he's, I'm assuming he's running triple silver claw, and he gets two of them, like, the fuck? <laughs> I know. Watch him, have, watch him have opened with some limited cards, too. You're saying. You know it's true. You know he'll have, like, a Regeki or a or something in there, maybe. If he's running it. Hmm. Are you thinking... Alright, I oh, know you... Oh, no, you didn't set the limit reverse, okay. Yeah, that's the reason why I didn't set it. Well, I was going to say, if you if if you had the limit reverse there, because I thought you said it, I wasn't looking at the field properly at the back row. I thought when you went to summon the mask of and you got the error, so I was about to say, are you going to flip the limit reverse, get your bell, and then when you black rose the field, you blow up your bell as well. Huh, I could still just play limit reverse. Yeah. <sighs> Damn, eighty seven ninety nine for a B-Rose? The fuck? I think that's the ghost ray. God damn. What, is, what does it have on it? Does it have like a piece of paper saying you get free blowjobs for life at the local strip port? Stripper home or whatever it's called? Hooker, hooker place? The place with the women where they take the clothes off? That place? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I totally have been to there lots and lots. Lots of times, totally. I dare you say otherwise. 
Now it's time for you, though. What if he goes into that black ship of Colonel Castell? <laughs> I'm going to allow you to think about that. Yeah. If he pulls out a black ship of... Oh, guy. You take 18. No, you take... Nine, no, you're 21. Want to read you though? Yeah. <laughs> I love how people see that zero. It's so weird, but you don't think about it. But trust me, guys, when you play your bell, every fucking time you summon a your bell in attack mode, they go and attack it, don't okay. they? So. You didn't have to declare the attack, and it's just. But whatever. Okay. You can't it's, attack. No, it's you not. Have... It's, How are you attacking not, me directly? Not correct. <laughs> you have to attack the monster or nothing. Huh? Tell me. How are you attacking me directly? I have a monster on the field. You can. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I bet if you'd have taken that in twenty-one, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have said, "Oh wait, no." He'd have fucking let you have it, wouldn't he? Guaranteed. Like, hello? Like, am I missing something? Am I missing something? <laughs> An Antis 107. Right, that... it's in the graveyard. Is that Tiago? Yeah. I forgot to tell him. Oh my god, he's gonna be mad. What? He's like, he's like tell me when you record Vitamin Y. <laughs> I forgot again. Oh, damn. <laughs> I always forget. Oh. How come it's Mantis 107 and not Mantis 44 now? I guess he created a different account. I don't know. Maybe his old account got banned for something. Been too broken with uh, friggin' galaxies. <laughs> I, okay. I, okay. Mean, I, I, I don't want to read that. <laughs> it's gone. I don't feel like reading it. No. Unless it has a graveyard effect, which it probably doesn't. The thumb pulls suck. They do. Don't even give me that they don't, people in the comments. They do. They suck. You know it. Wait a minute, he cheated. How did he? Because these silver claws are going go back to the extra act. Oh yeah. You cheated. That's okay though. Well, well, it's not really him cheating. It's more him forgetting. <laughs> no, because the fucking fr friend doc you here. This card is normal. Mm -hmm. uh, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level four lower performer power monster from your hand or graveyard. So he wouldn't oh, be able to summon and he that went silver and got claw. The claw. Yeah. Alright, terror. Whatever. Terror effect. You gonna destroy your monsters? You said that you knew you bell. I asked you, do you want to read you bell? Like, no, I know you bell. Now it's a different form you bell. I don't know this you bell. Like, uh, yeah. please. <laughs> I saw some uh, actual talking you bell. I saw some fake you bell cards. Which were pretty interesting. Were they busted? I, they weren't like busted, but they were pretty good. It was like a whole second series of forms for you, Bell, after Ultimate Nightmare. Getting taken tired of babysitting your ass. It was, it was like it was like you, Bell, Dragon, something, and then they had two other forms, and then the final form of this you, Bell, Dragon um, thing. Went... Um, how do you summon that? <laughs> I guess the normal summon, but you hit. Oh wait, no. <laughs> uh, no, Saturday. Yeah, if you need you the can. tribute. Yeah. But about these like fate you bell cards and the final form of this ultimate dragon thing, like the third, the second set of three forms of you bell after ultimate nightmare. Um, the final one, I think its final <laughs> effect was when it. Continue. Continue. Its final effect was like when it was destroyed, summoning you bell from your hand, deck, or graveyard, you know, first form, and then destroy it. So it was pretty much an infinite loop for you bell. You'd get through all the things, you'd get to Ultimate Nightmare, Ultimate Nightmare would die, you'd get to this you bell dragon thing, the other two, this you bell dragon, and all of them would die, and then on the final you bell dragon that died, it'd get you bell back and then kill it with its effect, and then therefore you'd get terror. Mm. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then someone in the uh, comment of it said, that'd make you bell busted because it would be an infinite loop forever. I'm like, you don't run Castell? Really? 
<laughs> like, just castell the motherfucker and it's done. You don't have to deal with it anymore. Or friggin' banish one out the graveyard. Since most you good you bell players only run one. Oh shit, actually he's Calvary. Yeah, that's why I dropped him down too. He's kinda cloggy if if he doesn't have the right combo pieces. Mm-hmm. Scarge no small. Oh swordfish, damn. How, what? Hello? Hello? How did you special summon? How how did <laughs> Why did do people you play you special <laughs> oh. summon swordfish? How why why did the why did the why do people choose to play a game they have no knowledge of, clearly? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here, seriously. Clearly this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing properly, right? There's a difference between being new to a game and just not knowing what the fuck basic things are. Like, for example, I don't know anything about Magic the Gathering. I've never played it in my life, I've never even seen a game of Magic the Gathering in my entire life, right? I would not go into Magic the Gathering, learn about half the basics, and then just play it, and then when fu and then start fucking up. I'd learn all the basics. I don't know where these people come from. Oh, uh, you know what the funny thing is? He's going into one of the more advanced game mechanics of Pendulum Summoning, but he can't get fucking Tribute Summons, right? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. <sighs> Like face palming, you done goofed, son. You done goofed. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Uh, I just do people. You still there? I guess not. Do I have to copy and paste the rule book to you? <laughs> yep. You didn't say your line. God damn it, about the. I'm not gonna yeah. teach you how to but... play Yu Gi Oh! No, the other one. There's a lot of you know, them. I have a lot the of them. The book. <gasps> Don't make me throw the book at you? I don't know. What? No. Do I have to hit you with the book? The Yu Gi Oh! rule book? <laughs> oh. I'd say when Nika traded, I'm not gonna teach you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. Like, I came up with anyway. I came up with a counter for that one. Do I need to cut you with the key? The Yu-Gi-Oh wiki? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking slice you up. Okay. Alright, All right, so pretty funny. much next just... turn I was just gonna go uh Emperor Effect, target terror, blow it up. Because oh, I could I could target a card on the field, blow up terror and it's an ultimate nightmare. You know what's funny is he was called Mechlord and he wasn't using Mechlords. I'm on the end right now. So that means. <laughs> it means daily duels. <laughs> it pretty much. He's like, are you recording right now? It's like, yes. It's like, he's like, vibe and wire daily duels. Like, like what? how long have you been subbed to me? <laughs> We're tagging, clearly. Do you, do you not know about this hidden uh, tagging rule, room of Diane? <laughs> <You know that? laughs> oh, God. You we're met Claude's a, a uh, big deck in Synchro Era to counter Synchro decks. What deck? Met Claude's. You know how they oh, counter Synchro Oh, Lords. Yeah. You know how they counter no, Synchro? No, no. Oh. Cause... I thought they would, they would have been, really. Because you know what it sounded like you said? Megalo? No. What? Necros. Oh, Necros, oh, like, yes. Necros in the Synchro era? Like, yeah, Necros in the Synchro era. A time-traveling Necro player. You have the ability to time travel, and that's what you do? <laughs> yeah, damn right. <laughs> You fucking... And then, and then you, then you can be like Patrick Coburn with your Dijin, and then be like, "Bitches don't know about my Dijin." Oh, I, I wasn't even paying attention. I thought he was selecting. My bad. My bad. I wasn't even paying attention. My bad. Do you know about Patrick Coburn's Dijin? Because bitches don't know about Patrick Coburn's Dijin. Sounds not that bad. Mm. What is it? Tour guide. Let me reverse call the haunted oasis farm again tonight. Oh. Yeah, it's not that bad. 
Oh. Uh, I guess now I have to go back to asking everybody if it's okay. I don't want to get fucking... <laughs> Veiled again? <laughs> Veiled again. That guy's put the night terrors in you with Veiler. He's like, Veiler, no! Uh, oh yeah, by the way, you might as well take the tour guide out your deck and chuck it away. Why? Because you can't get Eris Effect, you've been doing it wrong. Yeah, you do. You get Eris Effect. You don't when it's succeeded and it's detached. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. It's you when do. it's sent from the field to the grave. It's When, when it's, it's in being material. sent by an effect. It's being sent by the effect of the detach of Zen Mains if it's blocking the destruction or... All right. Uh, uh, what's it called? All right. I might as well scoop it up. Alucard? Oh god, yeah. You 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 could get another one in. Yeah, scoop. I can get another one in because there's no way in fuck I'm be able to keep up with Telenets. Oh, okay. GG, you win. Yeah, GG, GG. You your deck is way way above me. I mean, you know how you said um how you said that Dark Law should um that mass chain seconds should be limited to mm -hmm. stop up decks using Dark Law. I also think Dark Law should be limited personally. But if Mass Change Second is limited, then the only deck Oh yeah, I, I know, but I think both really should be limited. Mass Change Second stop other decks that aren't heroes using Dark Law. And Dark Law, because Dark Law, when you think about it, is too fucking busted. We have Macro and D Fisher at one. Dark Law is the only thing that makes a hero Which... deck even decent. If you take away the Mass Change Second, then just, it would just be heroes. And at that point, no one even cares. What is this, Burning Abyss? Probably. Go ahead and summon your, your Skarm or your, or your Sir or whatever. What's up with the... Yep. What's up with the fucking people that think? and unrated. Yep. And unfucking rated Yep. Good luck, have fun. I'm using Teller Knights and I'm gonna crush you. Good luck, have fun. I'm using Burning Grizz. I'm gonna crush you. I don't get it, though. Like... I mean, I'd say there's only a few exceptions. Oh, on Snatch Steel. Good. Fuck your Snatch. Yeah, Burning Abyss. You might as well quit it out. Mm-hmm. I'd say the only, there is only a few times when um, using meta in unrated is uh, is acceptable, and that's really only when you're recording for YouTube because you don't really want to be going into rated for YouTube. Really, some people do, but some people don't. I'm just saying, if you want to use if you want to use a meta deck in unrated, I think you're a scumbag. I think that. If you want to test because you're testing and you don't want, you know, you're not ready to take it to rated yet. Yeah, but then you say, should set, you yeah, should host you, and you say host testing and, meta. Yeah. Like I like I do when I'm testing Burning Abyss, I'm on unrated. I host and say testing meta fast accept. I'll grow keepers. Oh shit. Oh, can't do. Wow, these are just doors you can't. Oh. Eventually, I'll get another tool. <laughs> You'll get one eventually. Battle of the Yusei's. Yusei's my favorite character. It's all about that Jack Atlas. Mm -mm. Yusei. At least I'm not calling Yusei shit like Luna did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could tell I you. I don't get ready. how you can call you him. Are, fucking... I was mad because you, you can't ready call to fucking he, kill him. He has the best win and loss record no, out of any of the... Yeah, he does. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Statistically, he does not. What the f He only lost one duel. Jaden has better win lost record. Jaden's lost more than once. Well, from what I've looked up, Jaden has a 93% win loss. A you say has an 84. Oh fuck you! You can eat a nope. You can eat a fat dick. Yeah. You can eat a fat dick. You say but... is the second best win loss record in the entire out of all the Yu-Gi-Oh, and then Jack and Yugi are third. You say it's awesome. I'm not saying he isn't awesome. I'm just saying you say okay. Damn. This is gonna be a long episode of Iron Man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because we're already my... at we're already at 20 minutes and I can't even get a fucking. You, you can't end it like that. Oh, we'll be shitty. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I have to get it on this other city. It's gonna yeah, be long. You have to get at least one good door. All right. What are you using? Are you using fucking shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I'll probably lose. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wow, how many fucking guys? Come on. Bad Madoches, too. Uh, okay, well, I guess. 
You need um, to show. Um, you know you have to show me, right? You have to reveal. Right, it says reveal. Excavate. Well, whatever. Same thing. Hello? Hello? Mr. Cheater. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, it was the one. It was that one in his hand. Okay. Hello? Yeah, show him the fucking car. <laughs> no, that was the wrong... That was technically the wrong one, wasn't it? I'm sure it was I on the other side. I don't even care at this point. Oh, You're wow. just a fucking cheater. <laughs> I love it how you had to call him out on it for him to reveal it to you as well. I bet if you hadn't... You know what? Sometimes I let people misplay like that. Well, not misplay. Sometimes I let people do shit like that and I don't call them out on it because I want to see if they're an honest person or not. It's interesting. And do you know what? Nine times out of ten, they never fucking be honest and be like, oh, here. Like, in that part of duality scenario, if you hadn't called it out, I bet the guy wouldn't have done it. Nope. Mm. Right. It's a hand. It's good. It's just I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Yeah, you're going to get fucked up by Medulce's. Probably. Probably. Well back, well, back row first, and he's going to turn to sue you, and then you're just going to Yeah, it's the back row, because I'm tour guide, and I want to go, like, tour guide, summon Harris, go and talk his end mains and stuff. But I'm fair to get fucked, so you know I should just set this Harris. Mm. Set the Harris, you kill the Harris, I'm going to get to search for, I'm going to search for cavalry, and then I'm going to go discard my commander, special summon dark graffer, normal summon cavalry, and go into an exiton. Or at least attempt to. Yeah. I mean, I can't guarantee anything, but... So, what do you think of the train of thought that Dark Hole might go to, uh, 3? Whatever. I go up at this point. <laughs> I, yeah, I was watching, uh, I've been watching some of the big YouTubers, uh, banlist talks. Galactic God was like, he thinks that Dark Hole can go to 3. I mean, it With really this... hurts Necros. I... Necros yeah. don't float like that. Yeah, I know. If you wipe their field, they fucking lose. Yeah, back, yeah. Well, that's they don't why lose. Is... They, can, they can bounce back to a degree, but... You know, back when, you know, Mir I mean, back when it was just, you know, Klees and Shadows and, and Burning Abyss that were the top, then yeah, I can, you know, I can understand. But now since Necros are the top shit and they want to promote Necros, that wouldn't be the best of moves. Well, I'm going to try to Exiton him. If I don't get the Exiton off, then uh, at that point, I'm just going to be too out of it. Alright. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. When a yep. monster effect is activated. And if he doesn't have anything in the, okay. any monsters in the grave, then it's like solemn. It's like bounces. You're having to destroy Alright, so I activate my effect. I pay cost, and then he activates my Dolce's Knights. Right. Yeah, and then it negates the activation. Then shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. All right. So if he controls pudding sets, which oh, he but doesn't. he doesn't. Okay. Damn, that sucks. Hang on, whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Why the fuck did your thing go back to hand? Because I was never summoned. Okay. I, I activate Dark Griffer to special summon. I pay my cost, and then he activates my Dark nice to negate me, so I'm never summoned. I think he was doing that, thinking that you were doing the effect to go and pitch, and then you know Wait. send. No, 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 no. Because I did on the special summon. Okay. Yeah, I lose. That means you can just special summon the thing again if you got a I, six. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You, 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 you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably fucked. The Dolce is. Mm -hmm. I think if pendulums start getting out of control, Medulce Knights is definitely a card to keep an eye on that might get addressed at some point down the years in the ban list. Because think about it. It's not going to be Medulce Knights. Hmm, I don't know. No maybe. one plays Medulce Knights. It, it, it's like a fucking um, a solemn judgment that doesn't destroy. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, well. Damn, he just jumped out the bushes and stabbed you. He's like, surprise, motherfucker. Ah! Okay. 
Okie dokie. Well, you can't be Rosam anymore. Nope. Alright, it's done. You can't do anything to him anymore. Yeah, you, 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 uh, you lose now, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I lost in this build again, but I would at least want to try to do something, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you definitely... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 I'll get this fucking last yep, then. <laughs> right, I'll get it in. I'll, I'll fucking do that. Using all the bad cards. Why are you using the bad cards, bro? I mean, if you were using shit for like Choc Alamo, I could understand it. But uh, then again, all, all these cards that he's using do say about Medology Pudding Sets, which Choc Alamo does need. So. Yeah. Okay. Can't use her effect. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, he can. He has Madoche Knights. Oh, yeah, it's Madoche cards. cards. Yep, that's it. Yep, you're fucked. Yep. GG. GG. Oh, that was a fun duel. Yep. Oh, fuck yeah. it. I couldn't get a good duel in this video. I just duel kept on dueling against things that are just way too above me. Huh? That's what you get when you try to duel with you, Bell, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode, so... I apologize, peoples. I apologize. So, thank you, Stuns, for joining me. At least you made the video entertaining. No problem. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, to that. Just, yeah. No, no. See, I'm gonna ask me if I was finished. Oh, so, right. Um, so, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using, uh... Play Glitcher's Cute Bell. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.